before the oh in today's video we will do a bit of experiment because as you know inside of these three enclosures i have three tarantulas of the same species the species name is Hilobrachis fimbriatus and they are known to be a bit opportunistic they do bury they dig a lot but if provided opportunity they will also web a lot so therefore we are going to set up three different enclosures i mean three same enclosures with uh, three different setups. First enclosure will have ton of substrate, second enclosure will have a small amount of substrate but a lot of anchoring points, and the third enclosure will have a lot of substrate and a lot of anchoring points. And then, through next week or so, we are going to observe how tarantulas will behave and which setup will perform the best. And without any further ado, we will straight jump to enclosure setup. First one will have ton of substrate, therefore this is the easiest setup to do. And by setting up the enclosure with a slope, that enables me to have a lot of substrate in enclosure that doesn't really have a high... How would I call this part of enclosure? I'm not really sure, but this part of enclosure is not really high, therefore I cannot put a lot of substrate here in front, but in the back I can put ton. So. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And I think this would be enough. Gonna firmly compress all of that. Push a cork bark in one corner, just like that. We add a bit of sand for the texture. You see, unlike live stream, I'm not really forgetting about sand for the texture. <laughs> that's enough. And we can add the tarantula. I randomly picked this one. I'm not really sure if that's the the biggest yeah i don't think that this is the biggest but she's down there now let's get her in here i think that i should be able to just poke her inside of her new enclosure hmm. or maybe not come on let's go you see the legs slowly emerging and there that was easy. Now you, my little friend, have one job, and that is to dig like crazy. There is your hide, there is ton of dirt, so let's go. <laughs> you have seven days to complete the construction. All right? All right. She's actually pretty calm. Nice. One down, two to go. Second one will be with small amount of substrate and a lot of anchoring points. So that one should also be super easy to set up. Actually, all setups are super easy to set up. I will just... Mm, yeah, one more bucket and that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Also, I will compress everything and let's go crazy with branches. I actually want to set them up in a way to form a tunnel. So if Tarantula webs up, she can easily form a web tunnel in between the branches. That's the idea. I also added some branches to the background, you see, to give it more stability. Tiny bit of sand. There. And the second enclosure is ready. Now you see, this is the idea. This is the tunnel where hopefully Tarantula will form a web tunnel. So we'll see how that will work. Also, I will randomly take this one and I think that I took the biggest one. Or did I? I'm not sure. But we'll have the same approach. Just a bit of pokes. And, <laughs> and hopefully that way I will get the range to move in the right direction. Don't want you to go down. Hey. <laughs> okay, we can do it that way also. Now we can continue moving forward. Mm-hmm, yes. A little bit more. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this one is a bit more bolty, but still pretty manageable. You see? Down there. Um, same thing. Your job is to web like crazy. You have a lot of anchoring points, so do your best and don't disappoint us. Again, seven days to complete the construction. I just hope they got permits for the job. <laughs> now, last enclosure. As I said, it will be a mixture of a lot of substrate, but also 
some anchoring points and we will see what tarantula will choose. My prediction is that it will prefer to dig, but you'll maybe surprise me, who knows. Also a cork bark with a starter burrow underneath, but now we added uh, the branches and I will put them to the other side. That way it should be clear which side tarantula chose. Sand and we are done. A less tarantula. Let's see if she will also be easy to manage. You see she's down there clumped up. <laughs> yeah, I expected that. Sorry girl or boy, whatever you are. But I need to <laughs> do this simple task. Yeah, in your new enclosure you go. Uh, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Before, before. Oh, that was super fast. Can we go back now? Whoa, she actually produced the sound. I'm not sure if you could hear it on the microphone, but Ooh. <laughs> I know that they are capable of producing sound when feeling threatened. Come on, yeah, yeah. Go back. No, no, no. Up. Oh. Do I really need to take the catch cup? Man, it is down already. Of course, that last one needs to be like this. But the situation is now under control. I just need, I just need you to turn in the other side and go, and go over there and stay. Yeah, stay right there. Now, unlike your siblings, you actually got a choice. You can either dig like crazy or web like crazy. But whatever you do, do it like crazy and do it within the next seven days, please. Yeah, that would be all that I want. I think that for the first night, I will still set up the time lapse to record how they will explore their new environment. And then for next seven days, I will probably just do a quick progress report of the night before because what I noticed, when there is light shining their enclosures, they are really not doing as much work as they would do when I don't have light. So therefore, I will see how they will behave during the, during the time lapse and then I will decide if I want to continue with the time lapse or not. But we are starting with the time lapse, so let's go! <music>
Mm-hmm. Okay, I know that I said that I will do an update every single day, but then I decided that I will not do that. And now actually three days passed, and you can see that there was significant amount of work done inside of these enclosures. Firstly, you can see that uh, the one that was offered with just a lot of substrate and without anchoring points, she actually digged a lot, you see, all of this dirt, all of that was dug by a tarantula. So she did that. Now moving next, this is the one that also was offered with a lot of substrate, but also I offer her a lot of anchoring points. And surprisingly, she actually didn't dig, she didn't bury, but she chose to just web a lot, which is really surprising. I, I definitely didn't expect that. And also there is a lot of webbing, right? And then on the left, the last one, that was just offered a lot of anchoring points. You see, she webbed everything. She webbed like crazy. And honestly, I would be pretty pleased with this amount of webbing after a week. So after only three days, I'm super happy with this. I'm wondering how much, uh, I mean, how the enclosures will continue to develop. So for that, we just do a time jump. And now actually two weeks passed. And the reason why I didn't do a daily update, as I originally said, there just wasn't enough progress done uh, within a day to really justify recording it every day. It would be really pointless. So that's why I, I decided to wait two weeks. And now I will uh, record, I will show you the, the, final, the final creation of these tarantulas. You see, even within two weeks, there wasn't some huge progress when you compare it with last time I showed them. So yeah, let's just go once again through all. Uh, this is the one that got a lot of substrate and only a lot of substrate with starter burrow. You see, she did web around the enclosure. I mean, around the, um, the burrow quite a lot. Even the front lid is almost fully webbed up. I need to clean that. But yeah, mostly she was just now, after the initial uh, digging, she didn't do anything. She just laid a layer of silk and that's basically it. So now I want to feed her so she comes out and I will also feed all three, I mean all the other two. Let me just grab a roach and then we can proceed. I'm wondering if she will come out if I just place it here in front of her burrow. Oh, so far she is not re- oh, she is actually reacting. Slowly creeping, you see? She's feeling the roach uh, walking across her web. That was fast! That was super fast! You can still see the roach down there in her fangs. Oh, she's actually coming out. That was a great and fast take though. I'm pretty sure that she will come out to do a little happy dance. So I'm just going to continue on the other one and then we will come back to her if she comes out. So the other one was the one that got remade burrow with a lot of substrate, but she also got a lot of anchoring points. And she's still using just uh, those anchoring points to form her hide out of web. And she's not using, she's completely ignoring the, the burrow, which is super interesting. I was like convinced fully that she will web around, but she will mainly use the burrow. But yeah, she proved me wrong. You see, this is why they say that Hilobrahi's tarantulas are opportunistic. Uh, they will not exclusively burrow, even if you provide the equal opportunity. You see, she rather web than burrow. I guess that she loves the sun. And the first one is showing off her booty, you see, and spinnerets. <laughs> not a full happy dance, but, but yeah. And now a roach for the other one. The tarantula is over there. And I will place the roach right here on top. No, no, no! Oh, Roach is escaping! Are you kidding me? Yep, he did, and now I realize that this camera had a critical memory card error. Um, the clip is currently unreadable, but hopefully I will be able to restore it with a... Um, I need to get rid of this camera because it is ruining my workflow, like crazy. This one will go instead. I'm just hoping that I will be able to restore the, the file. And I have no idea when it got error. So maybe it didn't record half of the stuff that I tried to record. Let's just get another roach and hopefully camera will not fail me again. Let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, that was also crazy. She just basically exploded right out of her webbing. 
<laughs> crazy, crazy. Okay. And the third one was the one that got, you see, tiny amount of substrate and a lot of anchoring points. And of course, she did, she did the same thing as this one. She just webbed everything up, created a beautiful enclosure. This is by far the prettiest one out of all because just of the all the webbing around even though this enclosure also got a lot of webbing still this one is superb superior because there is more web so yeah it's another roach yeah let's get the roach i will just drop that one here oh it is creating a lot of fuss and you see it attracted the tarantula immediately <laughs> Immediately, I didn't even have time to react properly. Oh, and she's already doing a happy dance down there. This is not even edited. Only uh, like five seconds passed since she grabbed it. And you see, she's webbing as if she doesn't have enough web around her. Ah, great, great, great. There's your happy dance. Uh, let me quickly also check if the other one is dancing. But I need to record this one first. Because she is going off like crazy. <laughs> okay, all right. No, we don't really have a happy dance. She's just standing there with the roach. And the second one is awkwardly standing over there, you see? <laughs> Munching on it. Okay, so this experiment was definitely interesting. I discovered this thing that uh, Hilobrahi species, at least this one, preferred to web instead of the the burrow I mean instead of burrowing so that is something that we learned today I still I see that camera is still recording so that is also something and if you're wondering what happened with my fingers I was painting painting something outside anyhow I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel more there's a patreon page and also a merch page link in the description uh, if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe up every monday and sometimes on friday and i think that uh this friday i will have a bonus video yeah we need to do some rehouses uh but so see you on friday bye <laughs>